Hello YouTube! So tonight I'm going to show you guys how to paint your aquarium background. This is just one of the many options that you have um, to make a background for your aquarium. You know, there's always um, those sheets that you buy that you can put on, but this is a really nice way to do it. It, it looks really nice and neat and clean and you don't have to deal with it falling off all the time. So if you're not somebody who likes to change their background all the time, this is a really good option for you. Um, and it's super simple to do, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. And I just wanna point out that I did paint my aquarium background, so what you're seeing right now on the back of my tank is paint. Um, I decided to paint my background because I had been using a, um, a black, uh, just sheet, you know, one of those uh, aquarium backgrounds that you buy at Petco and it had lasted pretty well for about six months and then it was starting to fall off again and I just didn't want to deal with putting it back on. Um, I actually, I really like the look of not having a background on an aquarium if you have like a white wall behind it. I personally really like that look but I have so much equipment and you know, I have a huge UV sterilizer in the back of my tank and having a background is just a good way for me to hide all that junk so um yeah so I'm gonna just go through quickly the supplies that you're gonna need so you're gonna need paint obviously um I'll show you the kind of paint that I used so because my fish are still in the aquarium oh man you can't see anything it's very dark in here um so because my fish are in their aquarium and I was painting it um, inside and I actually, I moved the fish to the quarantine tank um, while I was painting, but um, I just didn't want it to be really smelly in my house while I was painting. So to cut down on fumes, I chose a low VOC paint and this is Olympic Icon and it's a latex paint. Sorry, you guys can't see this very well. I have all the lights off in my room here besides the tank light. Um, but yeah, it's it's an Olympic, it's a latex paint. Um, I chose to use a matte black color. Um, I mean, really, you can choose any color you want, but the colors that are going to look best for a fish are going to be either blue or black. Um, I would choose black if you have mostly white or orange fish. I personally prefer black for a tank color background as opposed to blue. I think it looks a little bit neater, cleaner. It goes with everything. I don't know. It's just personal preference. I personally like it. Um, blue is a nice choice, especially if you have darker colored fish. It's going to really make them stand out, but either blue or black is going to really make your fish pop. Um, as long as you're not putting a black background on a tank with a lot of black fish, obviously that's going to not be quite as good. But, so, you're going to want to choose your paint color. Um, in terms of what type of paint to buy, you can really use mostly anything. Um, I personally chose a latex paint because it's going to be really easy to peel off. Um, it's easy to put on. It's uh, not super smelly. Um, but... You can also use an oil-based paint. I know that tends to be a little bit more preferred in the saltwater community because I think it's a little bit more um, just sturdy, like it holds up with salt creep a little bit better than a latex might. Um, some people also use, you know, like craft paint, like uh, acrylic craft paint that you would just buy in the craft section. It's super cheap. It's water-soluble, so it's going to come off super easily. Um, but that can also be an issue sometimes, you know, if you get water on the back of the tank or you scrape it, um, that sort of stuff. But it's a super cheap, easy paint you can use. So um, spray paint is also another great option. I probably would have chosen, um, I probably would have uh, chose to spray paint the back of my tank had I not had fish and plants and everything in it. Um, because obviously if you're using spray paint, you probably don't want to do that inside. You're going to want to go outside and lay the tank down. So if you're getting a new tank or you're able to empty your current tank, I think spray paint is probably a really good option. Um, I know Krylon Fusion is one that a lot of people have used, um, but really any spray paint is going to work pretty well. So in addition to paint, you're going to need some brushes and rollers. Um, so you're going to want to have just a small paintbrush on hand. 
You aren't going to want to paint the whole tank with the paintbrush, but this is going to be used just for the edges and any sort of detailed work where you want to get the paint in a really small um, space. And then you're also going to want to use a roller. So it looks like this. Um, this is a foam roller. So you want it to be nice um, solid foam, not like a, uh, a woolly roller. Um, I don't know if that's the right way to describe it, but you want a foam roller, a small foam roller. And this is a really nice size. And I actually just got this at Walmart for, it was seven bucks with a little um, paint uh, spreader thing, like the thing that you pour the paint into came with that and the roller um, for like seven dollars. And it was uh, advertised for use with, you know, painting cabinets, I think. So you're going to need that. Um, obviously, if you're choosing to use spray paint, you don't need a brush or the roller or anything. You're just going to use spray paint. But since I used regular paint um, myself, I'm going to show you how to do it that way tonight. Um, but generally, all the same principles apply if you're using spray paint. You're just not going to be doing the um, brushing part of everything. So, and then the other two things that you're going to want to have on hand are some sort of tape. Um, you could use painter's tape, masking tape, uh, duct tape, anything really. Um, and that's just going to be so that you can keep your uh, the edges of your tank clean and you can have nice clean lines when you paint. And then the last thing that you're going to need is something to clean the surface of the tank with. I used rubbing alcohol mixed with a little bit of water. So there's rubbing alcohol. I think this is 70% and I just mixed it with a little bit of water and wiped down the tank with a um, paper towel. You can also use like vinegar and water. If there's no fish in the tank, you could use something like Windex. That's fine as long as there's no fish um, inside the tank at the time. Um, yeah, so that's all there is to su for supplies. So um, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we actually paint the tank. We are in my backyard. I'm going to paint outside today just um, because I'm going to use this little 10 gallon tank and I can um, instead of getting paint fumes in my house. Um, so yeah, this is my backyard. Uh, you can see my garden over there, which is really getting grown in. It really needs to be weeded right now. Um, my kitty Cheshire, who looks to be <laughs> drinking out of a puddle right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, been raining here this afternoon. So hopefully we'll have enough light to finish this project, but let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just wipe the tank down with some um, rubbing alcohol and water. You can also use a mixture of like vinegar and water that works well too. Um, if there's no fish in the tank, you can use something like Windex, but you just want to make sure to wipe down the back of the tank that you'll be painting um, really well so that you get all the debris or any sort of oil that may be on it off. Um, that way your paint will stick better. Now that your tank is clean, you're just going to um, take some tape, you can use duct tape, masking tape, um, painter's tape, and just tape down the sides that you don't want to get paint on. Now your tank is ready to be painted. Um, you're going to take your foam roller and just take a small amount of paint and do a light layer across the back to start. Um, make sure that you don't use too much paint. You don't want it to be dripping. Um, thin layers is kind of the key here. So we'll do the first layer and wait for that to dry. Use your small paintbrush to get around in the edges and around the corners. Now we're going to wait for this first layer to dry and come back and do a second. Okay, so it's been about an hour and the paint is pretty much dry. It's still a little tacky, not as dry as I would like, but um, as you can tell, we're losing daylight here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the second coat on now. Um, for the second coat, you're going to go the opposite direction 
than you painted the first time around. Um, and uh, with each coat, just go ahead and do that. And you're just going to keep coating the tank until it becomes as dark as you want it to be. Put it under a nice light and make sure that you can't see any light through the background. Make sure everything looks nice and dark and um, then just wait for it to dry and you're done. Okay, so here's our tank about five coats later. Um, as you can see, it's really black and there's no spots of light coming through at all. Um, everything is totally covered, so we are all set to go ahead and take the tape off. Now when you're removing the tape, you want to be very careful because if there's any paint on the tape and you pull it, you can actually start to pull some of the paint off. So you want to just be really aware of how you're pulling the tape, pull it very carefully, and try to make sure that you don't pull any of the paint off. If you do happen to pull some paint off, it's not the end of the world. You can always do some touch-ups after. Okay, now here you can see our finished product. I did do a couple little touch-ups from where I did pull off a little paint when I was taking off the tape. Um, and that's a good reminder to just be really careful where you're taping. You want to make sure that you are just taping on the plastic and um, where you don't want the paint to get and um, I probably wouldn't have taped as far over on the sides as I did in the beginning um, The next time around so just make sure that your tape is where you want it because when you're taking it off It can be a little bit tricky to not peel that paint off, but touch-ups are pretty easy So it's not a huge deal, but here you can see how it looks Now if you ever want to remove the background just to paint it again or if you want to do something different with your tank, you just take a razor blade like this. Um, it's nice if you can get one of those razor blade holders. I have one but I couldn't find it. But it makes it a lot easier to hold the razor blade. They make these little things that you, little plastic thing that you put it in. But anyway, you just take a razor blade and you run it across the paint and you'll be able to kind of just pull it up. So I'll just show you quickly how to do that. So just like that, it will come right off. It's super easy. Um, the thicker your paint is, the easier it's going to kind of just slide right off. Um, the thinner it is, you may have to razor blade a little bit more, but it should come off pretty easily with the latex paint. Now, if you used oil-based paint or like a spray paint, it may be a little bit more difficult to take off. Um, the latex is certainly very easy because it turns into this kind of plasticky material, but um, Oil-based or spray paint may be a little bit more difficult depending on the formulation, but either way just use a razor blade and kind of scrape across the glass. Um, just be careful not to scratch the glass, but super easy stuff. Um, yeah. So now that your tank is painted, I just want to talk a little bit about how to, um, you know, just basic upkeep of the paint. Um, so. As you saw, this paint is going to come off really easily when you want it to come off. And it can also come off really easily when you don't want it to come off. Like if you um, put your uh, canister f or your um, HOB filter on the back of the tank and you accidentally slide it and scratch the paint, that can scratch the paint right off pretty easily. So you want to do something to make sure that you protect that paint layer so that you're not having to do touch-ups and all that sort of stuff all the time. So what I did on my tank was actually I put um, my old tank background on top of the paint in the back just to provide a layer of protection between the paint and all my equipment. Um, that has worked pretty well. I just taped it right to the back. So that's an easy solution. Um, you could use any sort of you know, um, plasticky paper material. Um, you probably wouldn't want to use just regular paper because if it got wet, obviously that wouldn't be good, but some sort of, um, I don't know, plasticky sort of stuff, 
similar to um, a tank background material. Um, the other thing that you can do is if you got painter's tape or any, I mean you could probably use masking tape or something like that, but I think painter's tape would be a really good one to use. You can buy it um, so that it's like really thick. They make really thick rolls so it would be super easy to do it with that. Um, but you would just basically paint or uh, tape over the paint. So go line by line across the back of your tank with um, the tape and just create a barrier with the tape between the tank and or the paint and your equipment. So you just want to think of some way to kind of protect that paint. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna risk scratching it and having to do touch-ups and just dealing with some you know kind of annoying stuff. So um, I think that's all I can think of to tell you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any um, other ideas on how to do this or you know you found a paint that works best for you please let me know in the comments below I love to know that sort of stuff um, and yeah let me know if you have any questions thanks so much for watching